consecutive Beanpot Championship. And the four seniors, Travis Roy in the middle. It has been an amazing four years in the life of Travis Roy. Amazing to average people who have come to know his story. And amazing to a hockey community that has rarely witnessed such powerful courage. In my mind, he's the most courageous person that I know. Uh, after all he's gone through, you see how productive he is today. He's, he's doing so much and, uh, you know, I consider him a, a good friend and I'm, I'm proud to call him a friend. In my opinion, and Travis probably looks at it this way, it's a, it's a whole different game now. And uh, if he challenges it as a game, uh, athletes usually kind of come up on top when they, when they tackle life that way. He's a classy young man. Uh, he's sensitive, he's intelligent, and he has a intestinal fortitude that uh, I don't know if I would have it. I don't know if a lot of people would have it. And I think that's what people admire about him. Now a Boston University senior slated to graduate in May with a degree in communications, Travis will always remain a part of the BU hockey family. Though admittedly, his love affair with the sport has changed forever. You know, there's a lot of loss there, and I've, I've accepted that. I've accepted that hockey's, I'm not gonna be able to play it again. And that's hard, because, you know, and I, I know no matter what I do with hockey now, it's not gonna be as much fun as it was playing it. Um, but again, I, I uh, I still enjoy being around it. I love being around the guys, uh, Coach Parker. Uh, I have a great time with them. Travis recently considered a run for the Boston City Council before finally deciding to focus his attention on a schedule already bursting with activities, including tireless work for his foundation, work that is raising money for spinal cord research. The, the big hope is, is for the care. Uh, you know, I, I plan on getting out of this chair at some point, but. My only hope is, is spinal cord research, um, and, and half of our, our proceeds goes towards research. And uh, you know, it's it's exciting right now. They're doing a tremendous amount of things, and uh, you know, all the all the top scientists uh, believe it will happen. It's it's really a matter of money, just raising the money and, and, and getting it done. Travis's story has inspired thousands of people, and in the future, it may inspire thousands more. Roy's book, Eleven Seconds, is being made into a motion picture with Robert Redford's son, James, writing the screenplay. I've worked with him um, several, on several different occasions now, doing the research, and I really enjoy him. I think he's going to write a great screenplay, and uh, as far as the timetable on that, uh, that's sort of up in the air, too. Hopefully within the next year, it will be, uh, will be available. Hollywood won't need to embellish the Travis Roy story one bit. BU's number 24 has single-handedly provided all the qualities of a heroic tale. And I think everybody associated with the, with the college hockey community in general and the BU community in particular knows what this guy has been through and knows how well he puts himself through it and his family has put themselves through it. Uh, we don't want anybody else to wear that. We want to always remember Travis Roy you know, as the guy who wore 24.